just to see how the little ones are doing. I can hear them squawking in there, so all are alive and well. And you see it there, that funny little hole in the knot in the tree. This one? It is indeed that one. Oh, I can't see off the monitor. Yeah, it's that bottom hole over there. There you go, down a little bit. Down. There you go, there's an eye sticking out. <laughs> Dear watcher, <laughs> looking at our birds, you would like to know how is a bird connected to a snake? Okay, fair enough. It was a very, very distant connection. Kirsty thought it was very tenuous as well. Um, supposedly they evolved from the same sort of ancestors, the dinosaurs obviously being the bird's closest relatives, but apparently some theorists suggest, and I mean, look at that eye. Doesn't that look dinosaur-like? Like something out of Jurassic Park? Uh, some theorists suggest distantly, if you go back, um, birds and reptiles are more closely related than, say, birds and mammals. I admit it was a stretch. It was a serious stretch. Hello, look, your beak's getting red. It was a stretch. Kirsty was correct. It was a little bit of a leap of a, a link. Sometimes the links go a bit pear-shaped. But that was, that was the connection that I made in my mind in terms of relatives of birds and reptiles being related. <laughs> we are going back quite a few years, probably before I was born, let's put it that way. gonna make a comment but I won't because I know James will find it very boring and quite quite offensive so I won't at all. Hey little birdie where's your sibling? I only see one of you today. Last time I came to visit this red bulled hornbill nest there were two of them. It could be that they're both in there it could just be that they've got so big so quickly that they aren't both fitting right up near the hole in fact he might even be fighting off a sibling now. They, oh. Well, yeah, I think there's two there. I think there's two. I'm not 100% sure. And now we... <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, that's very Jurassic Park. Is it not? Especially think that since they think that a lot of the later dinosaurs were probably feathered. Hello. Peekaboo. Let's go over to Tristan, whose baby elephants are performing.